I got mud on my face? All right, it's uh, time for a new project in the shop. Graders, what do you think we ought to put in here? A derby car. A derby car? Is it that time? Yes. It's derby. been like three years since I've derbied. I've got the itch pretty bad. We're gonna go grab a derby car, bring it in, jerk the motor out of it, and then uh, bring another one in and put it in. So here we go. Many of you may not know, but I've done demolition derby for a long time. Since I was 15, built my first car. So it gets in your blood. So demolition derby, it's where you purposely crash into each other. Last car to make a hit is the one that wins. We've had another YouTube channel for a long time. It's called Easy Does It Racing. That's where all of my demolition derby stuff was. It was basically so my friends and family could watch me crash cars. We're gonna test it out here and see how you guys like it. If you like it, we'll build some more. If you don't like it, let us know. It's fun times and my boys want to do it this year. So we're building some cars. Let us know in the comments if uh, this stuff's interesting, if you like it. So this car got built and ran and she is done. But the motor, the transmission, there's a lot of good parts in this. So we're gonna haul it up, harvest the motor out of it. And then we're gonna bring another car that's down here up, put, put the motor out of this one in it. It'll ride. Well, the order of business is gonna be to cut all of this off the front where we can get to the motor and then we'll pull motor and transmission out in one whack all right we got a makeshift gas tank going on it's out of gas and i don't want to put gas in the tank because it's all coming out so we just stuff the hose in the jug got the jump pack on it we'll see Grandma, you can't swear on camera. I don't like this kid. The whole building shook over there. She runs and uh, she's going to be in a car by tomorrow night. Fire! Stay up, moving. Yeah, Don't let that drive line kill you. There's no bolts in it. Okay. Must be stuck in here then. Oh, I'd love to see bees come after you. You would squeal in there. I would just be like stone cold. <laughs> Wouldn't move. Oh, you'd be squealing like a little no. girl. I guarantee you would. I mean, dad would. Oh, I would tear the roof off that car getting <laughs> out of there. There's me and bees, man. I'm a tough son of a gun until you put a little tiny bee around me. We're about to have this motor cut out. We'll drop it on the floor. Pretty spent. We'll let it leak and then we'll haul it out of here and we'll be done for tonight. We'll bring the other one back tomorrow. Start putting that it's in. New day in the shop. I've got these two boys. They're gonna go to work today. Matt's off road recovery shirt. What the heck is this? We're gonna go uh, get the derby car that we're gonna put the motor in. We got some bee killer because it's gonna have bees in it. We're gonna go see if we can get it. All right, well, here it is. This is a 1979 T-Bird. Not good for much of anything but smashing. She is, you see any big bee nests? They're gonna ruin our day. Okay, well, maybe there's not as many bees as I thought. Get that truck backed up in here. Something. 
Are you pushing, Jace? Yeah. Put your back into it. You guys drag it out. Don't run into him. It's dirt there. That's not. Could be. There's a couple of sets of rules. This car is built as a stock car. You can see that the hood's not fully welded, it's just bolted. This transmission will take us out of that stock car class. So we're probably gonna unbolt that and put just a normal transmission on the back of it and bolt it back in here and see what we can do. You ready? <coughs> Heavy. This thing is too bad. Maybe you're getting Well, weak. I got the heavier side. All right, I'm gonna plumb this here torque converter on. We're gonna leak a little oil, but we're going in anyway. We're in. Hey, look at that. You know what? That's a good sign. That well, means we're pumping oil out of that thing. Okay. Cool. Well, after we eat some lunch, we'll uh, throw this thing on, bolt it in. We'll pick this whole mess up and stuff it in here and weld it in. Good thing about derby cars, there's not a lot of finesse. Just get it in, make it close, weld it in. Okay, so basically just take and cut these welds around that and we'll take this black piece off. Just the black piece? Yeah, that, that other thing is like an equalizer. Just leave it, just cut that off. Moving. We're getting closer. Got it. One down, one more to go. We're gonna have to get rowdy with it. Perfect. We'll take that. It's like the floorboard's gonna need to get some massaging. Headers. Oh, they gotta headers. fix those. Yeah, flip those around. There it is. There, there it's sitting on that mount now. Motor is in. All right, we're making motor mounts right now. All right. Jace can cut those things out of there and we'll weld them in. And then a little bit of transmission mounting. Motor's in it, we'll start hooking it up. I'll have to go find some spacers and put under that pan and then we'll be fixed. All right, and that one should fit right there like so. And that'll weld to that. This motor ain't going nowhere here in a minute. Weld in here, we're on the last bracket. Weld that in and then we deal with the transmission. We can bolt the drive line in it, hook some stuff up, we fired it. Let's move on to the next part. Len, you hold this. <laughs> My arms are dead from this like, like you're a pansy. All right, this is all put together. You'll notice that this transmission is not mounted down which is on purpose. So when this car starts to belly, I want this to just float and be able to push backwards a little bit so it doesn't break the transmission. We're gonna go with that idea and hopefully it works. It has in the past. We're closer than we were at seven this morning when we started this process. We gotta put a radiator in it, throttle pedal we got to do some body and fender work to get it off the tires and then uh we're gonna go ruin this thing completely ruin it all right i guess there's nothing left but to take this for a little test trip we're just gonna run it up the road spin around come right back we'll see if everything seems to work good hopefully we got the bees out of here
be good. It's going to be fun. It's been a while since I've been in one of those. Big things are done. It runs, drives under its own power. Next, little body work and she'll be mint. We'll be crashing it. This kid, Jace, he thinks he needs to crash a car. So he traded his uncle out of this car and we're going to try to fix it. The door's been smashed in, so we're going to pull it back out. He's got it all chained down, he says. It's set up. We're going to try to move it. It looks perfectly straight. I'm right, talking right. about, right? <laughs> I mean. Pop the back out, good too. Yep, back come out. All right, I'm not lefty, but we're gonna give it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna hit that. I am. <laughs> oh, worked like a jewel. Hey. The door is indeed welded. Uh, I need to get my mini car down here. Jace is about ready to fire this pig and we'll see what it'll do. He's been thrashing on it, getting fuel lines and everything, tank. Okay, light it. Yeah, okay, it shut it off. All right, Jace, what we got going? The carburetor we took off of it's not good at all. Yeah, it's, a, it's one of these computer controlled junkers. So, we're going game. back with the good old Rochester, but you can see our dilemma. We're gonna build us an adapter that hooks this to this. Stay tuned, it's gonna work. I've done it before and it's worked flawlessly, so we'll do it again. We're gonna have to do a little heating and stretching. I think if we go in the middle, little in the middle, but she got much back. <laughs> Name that song. Leave it in the comments. You guys all know that song. We're getting there. I really ought to be finishing my own car. Yeah, what happened there? Yeah. Uh, you sort of got kicked out of the shop. What do you think? Uh, call it? A little gap filling shouldn't hurt. I think we'll call it. Oh yeah. Yeah, Holly's probably gonna be calling. Wanting me to build adapters for him and Man. stuff. What hey, do you think? That is pretty. That's pretty all right. All right, finished product with our little adapter plate. Rochester two barrel in place of whatever GM thought was a carburetor, but really wasn't any good. That's in there, it's gonna run. Go for it. We need to advance the timing a little bit and then she'll be a ripper. New day in the shop, Hunter's back with us. Yep. Oh yeah. We gotta get Jace's car out of the shop. We got it running last night, you guys seen that? Today we're putting wheels on it, so we don't have the wheels that fit this. These are our derby tires. So we just cut the centers out, cut the centers out of his rims, and we just merely weld them back in there. We'll show you how we're doing that right now. All right, this is our setup right here. It's an old wheel balancer. We know it's got a access that centers the tire on it. And then we clamp our plasma cutter in right here, weld it back in the other wheel. Sure, it's gonna hop and move a little, but for derbying, perfectly good. All right, there's that. There's the part we need right there. So it should fit right there like that. And we'll weld her in. Hey, I don't jump anymore and I felt you coming in. You do. Uh, <laughs> seems like someone did this to me the other day. That is true. Yes. <laughs> Dude, that cinched my hair. And Ben was like, I think I might have got that one. We'll see. <laughs> Sorry about that. Paybacks are always coming. <laughs> it's a little bit close to that. But I think we'll be all right. For as much horsepower as this got. Well, as long as it rotates, we'll be all right. All right. So look at that. There's one. She's on. Put some lug nuts on it. Just fine. We interrupt this derby build to save you guys some money. On upside, I personally use this app and I have saved money. $15. I use upside all the time, especially on the gas price right now because everything is high. I'm on flames. Okay, I'm still burning. 
All right, I'm out. Oh. The app is even super easy to use. To get started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit or debit card, and get paid. In comparison to other loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back using Upside. Download the Upside app and use code FABRATS. To get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. It's a no-brainer. And you can cash out whenever you want to. So download Upside today. Right, boys? Right. Right. All right, so we got the tires all cut out and put back on here. You're probably wondering what the heck we were doing. These tires are made for derbying. They're super thick ply, so they're really thick tires. They don't pop, and they're a pain to put on and off rims. So this is our easiest bet, and it's quicker. We've had like four or five sets of centers in these wheels already. You just cut them out, weld a new one in it, and you're ready to race. Same with the back. They're super thick forklift tires, and... It's just easier to do it that way. It's done. This car's about done. We got to weld a bumper on it, throttle linkage, maybe a hole in the hood, and she is done. Next time you see this one, Jace will be test driving. Landon's car. We did a little trading. We got a car that he's ran a few times. I think it's not hurt too bad. I haven't seen it in a few years. So we'll pick it up, take it home, assess it, and uh, hopefully have it running. Okay, she's loaded. We'll take it home and see how much work we got ahead of us tonight. Thing. Mm, think it'll battery. run? Yeah. I bet it'll run if we chuck a battery right here. And a battery in it? Jumper pack. Wish Professional you. opinion, it should run, right? Yeah. Oh, oh you got your blowing. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Turn it off. Hit it with a little ether. not too bad for how many trees are in here i mean right yeah you almost got a quarter wood it's in this jar yeah i think it's all gonna come out is it, you can take it out back disgusting. here and you can just pick it all up does this look disgusting uncle ben this is nasty i know it's like florida but take it out first. it's true there's like a whole pond back there i got it you don't got any women because you have no room i do got a woman oh really yeah but i don't want to marry her <laughs> We're gonna open this up and see what we got inside of here. Mmm, <coughs> smells good. Wow. It would have never started. <laughs> All right, we just pulled this fuel pump out of this car and uh, it's a little rusty. Like, a lot. We'll see if we can get it freed up. We're probably gonna have to put a fuel pump on. All right, so it's late 30, it's like 9.30 at night. Landon's here. We got our work cut out for us on Landon's car. The Derby's when? Saturday? Yeah, the Derby is Saturday. And basically it's Thursday. This is Derby life. Wait till the last minute. Don't sleep for a week. Seems good. Jace over here. He's getting the finishing touches on his. These boys start school tomorrow. So, uh... We're working the night shift. The night shift. <laughs> We'll get them all done and you guys will get to see us crash some stuff. All right, new day in the shop. Hunter is uh, cleaning some debris out of this nasty car. We got a weld. <laughs> and if we don't get it cleaned out, it's gonna be on fire. Uh, the kids all are at school today, first day of school. So 
We're gonna try to get the seat bar in this and then Landon can take over and finish when he gets home. There it is. One pump assembly reassembled. Gonna go in and make fuel pressure, I hope. This car literally has to run for 10 minutes. If it runs for uh, 15, cause Graydon's gonna drive it too. If it runs for 15 minutes, my kids will have had a good time. We'll probably have made a little bit of money. Life will be good. It's gonna work. It's gonna work, right? I hope so. It's gonna work. We'll put some gas in it and it'll fire. She's got gas. We're good. All right, I'll find my screwdriver. Cause that's how we start this rig. And uh, we'll see if we can hear the fuel pump making noise. I'm optimistic. <laughs> it's a Honda, man. She's wanting to. We're getting fuel pressure. Here we go. It'll start, no sweat. Wow, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's fuel pressure. Finish it, and I'm moving on to my car. Hi. I took a test drive and I approve. You approve? Yeah. It needs a new rear tire, but that's it. How it, fast did you get going? I didn't want to go too fast, but I looked on the speedometer going 20. <laughs> All right, so it's a new day. We got radiator in it, power steering's on it. We're just changing the oil in it now. Then it's basically just some body and fender work. We're ready to crash it. I know I'm going to get a million questions. Why am I running Royal Purple? Well, because I have and it's worked. We're going to put some more stuff in here. We're going to put a bottle of Lucas and a bottle of Prolong. And then hopefully this motor will run at 400 degrees tomorrow night and win us some money and another trophy to go on the wall. Let's see if it runs. I like it. Frame's bent pretty bad right here in this area. So we're gonna try to grab hold with the mini, pull it out and up. We got the car strapped down, chain down here, chain down in the front. Let's see if it moves. It's derby day. We are getting after it. She ready to go? Yeah, I think she's ready to go. Good deal. Mine is pretty much ready to go. She's ugly, but I think it's gonna do everything it needs to. I'll show you. I spent till like midnight last night getting the trunk fixed. The frame was a mess. It's gonna be fun. We'll take you along for the ride. We're gonna load up and head out of here and go get inspected. We are headed for Parowan to the Iron County Fair. Away we go. All right, we made her to Cedar. We gotta go get us a battery and then drive on up to Parowan and see if we can get these things inspected. It's raining. It is raining. Uh, that's outside currently. It's pretty bad. So I guess we'll see how this all turns out. All right, so. I got mine inspected. It's got a stick on it. Jace, he's taking his over right now. Just got out of the driver's meeting. We're pretty good. We know the rules. We've been doing this for a while now. So, graders, what do you think? Pretty dang good. Tell me what you got going on right now. This is my car in Landon's, and I'm racing it, and he's destroying it. You got some jitters? Yeah? Got All right. We're helmeted up. Graders is race race seatbelt, Bubba. Oh, yep, seatbelt. We're gonna climb in this thing and go for it. So we're just going over a few things. If I yell at you, I'm not yelling. I'm encouraging loudly, okay? So I'm gonna be running the e-brake for him, sliding it. I'll be telling you inside, outside. You go there and we'll win this race. Ready? We are lined up. We are ready to go. We got 15 laps.
off so you can see. I think they just had a bumper fall off. So. Oh, you're muddy, Dad. Three more laps. Franklin's counting down. Three, two, go. One. Mud on my face. Yeah, you do. Do I got mud on my face? Look at that. We got number one, dude. Hit the old rep limiter a little. Oh, yeah. All right, on to the next event. I got mud everywhere. <laughs> it's about go time. I'm gonna tighten the battery cable down and then that car is race ready. We'll go uh, crash it. Let's go ruin this car. That's all she had, boys. Transmission again. It was only 8,500. Come on, give me a break. All right, so that was a good time. Car didn't hold up quite as long as I was hoping, but it held for long enough. We got some carnage in it, so good times. That was fun. <laughs> well, I melted the battery. The battery melted it and it died. So the starter on this car is right here and I got hit and it just shoved it all in and melted it. For the tranny, there's a lot of fluid coming out of the tranny from somewhere. So I assume that it's broke. She did good. It was fun. I don't, I'm not even sore, so that was I was, was going to say, better. did you get it out of your system? Oh no, it may have just came back. <laughs> I forgot how much fun horsepower is to rip around it. How was it watching your boys? That was awesome. That was even funner than driving, to tell you the truth. Okay. Second place, which is a cool trophy. This is the one that I came for. Right there, most aggressive driver. We didn't care about winning this show. We cared about winning the most aggressive driver, and I got it. So we'll take that home. And, and Landon got most aggressive got, driver, too. Yeah. I also took third. Yeah. This kid right here stole the night though. Woo! Up first. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. He tore it up. This is why we are this is friends I haven't seen in a long time. This is a good time. There's nothing else quite like it. It was fun. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.